Back at Computex 2023, we saw this. I think it was Computex 2023, but now this year's Computex, they actually showed them once more and they just released them recently. The thing about Computex 2023 is when we take into consideration these ones, so these are, and we're going to talk about them today, of course, Team Group T Force Extreme DDR5 Addressable RGB. So we had the non RGB version, which look perfect in Narvik Black. These ones are also in Arabic black, but they have diffused top LED, which looks outstanding. And I can say clearly even better than the DDR4s that they had prior to these ones, right? But on Computex 2023, what I wanted to say is that this was plexiglass. And I think it still is, but at the exhibition, it was all scratched out. It looked really, really bad, but they fixed it, hopefully and uh, it, this looks quite nice i do have to say now the best thing about the the top heat well it's not a heat spreader it's just a part of a i think it's plexiglass it can be a glass because that will be something totally different than any others but it looks so nice even without the rgb on and i said that for the ddr4s and i'm saying this for ddr5s as well these look outstanding and they perform quite good without a doubt so i got here these are 2 times 24 gigabytes at 7200 megahertz clock speed now if we take into consideration that you could go up to 8200 megahertz this is outstanding because you have a variety of options these are obviously for intel xmp 3.0 uh, they have 10 layer anti-interference pcb on the iecc uh, improved PMIC heat dissipation design. It supports Asus Aura Sync, uh, Gigabyte RGB Fusion 2.0, MSI Mystic Lights, uh, Asrock Polychrome Sync, and Biostar Vivid LED DJ. Another cool thing, it has a lifetime warranty. So, when you take into consideration everything, they really do look outstanding. They really, it's outstanding to actually have a lifetime warranty on, on memory modules. And the CL is 34 on these ones at 1.4 volts. So I was quite curious and luckily I do have an Intel build now to test them out because in on AMD you can't do that. And uh, these are actually, they perform quite nice. And let's check that out. So. When we go in AIDA64 Extreme Edition and check out the speeds, read speeds go up to 102.99 gigabytes per second, write speeds go up to 88,921 megabytes per second, copy 92,727 megabytes per second, latency 73.6 nanoseconds, and CL as already stated. But I always want to go a bit further and check out uh, how they pair up with the processor and stack up with other configurations. So Cinebench R23, the processor went from 77 to 79 at 5500 megahertz. And the results were somewhere around, uh, started at 34,250 and ended up in 34,674. So I would say a rough average would be 34,500 which is outstanding. Now I use Corona 10 for benchmarking them with the Intel Core uh, i7-14700K. We have a score at 11,411,859 rays per second. Unfortunately, this is the first time I'm running this test. So in the future, we'll have more to stack up and compare, but currently we have only this one. Corona 1 1.3, uh, a render time finished at, <laughs> this is a bit strange, uh, 111 seconds with 4.348 million rays per second. Indigo benchmark in bedroom 1.167 million samples per second and supercar 4.234 million samples per second. When you take into consideration that, uh, well, DDR4 and DDR5 completely different story when we're talking about stacking them up and having all slots filled up, these would look quite nice and I'm really sad that we still don't have any options uh, when we're talking about motherboards when we're talking about rams to be able to place them and fill up all four slots uh unfortunately i couldn't get more information when we're talking about the memory modules i think they're adi but not 100 percent sure since all the software that i used couldn't pick up any information from them so that's a bit of a bummer but uh, when we're talking in general about their memories and how they work 
I ran in my PC first DDR4 extreme ones, the blue ones, well, black ones, uh, RGB for quite some time. And then I switched my build completely and used the white version as well. So they worked outstandingly good. They're still in function. They're still working. And when we take into consideration, and I, I have no doubt these look even better. And I think, of course, they will perform better when we compare DDR4 and DDR5. But all in all, what I can say is, as per usual, that from Team Group, when you get a product, when you buy a product from Team Group, you can only expect high quality. Uh, the two millimeter layer is outstanding because it uh, helps with heat dissipation and it does lower down the thermals of the RAMs without a doubt. So all in all, finally, after two years, one year, let's say one year, uh, we're having them on shelves or at least they will be soon on shelves so you can check them out and eventually uh, grab them for yourself and have them on your desk, in your PC, not on your desk. Uh, and that will be it for today. A bit shorter video because I can't pick up all the information from them, but performance shows uh, itself and what it can do. And uh, that'll be all for today, guys. Uh, if you want to check them out, the link, if I find the link for these RAMs, I'll place them in the description below. And in the meantime, so you don't miss anything in the future, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and click the notification bell. See you quite shortly. Bye-bye.